Well, we did a, a study on a single night in all of Scotland's major hospitals to look at everyone who was an inpatient that night in the hospital. Uh, and what we're interested in is what had happened to them a year later. And what we discovered was that one third of everyone in hospital on the night that we recorded uh, of those patients had died. And this was a, quite a big surprise to us. And so we shared the results with the people in the field, in the hospitals, in the, the clinicians and the policy makers. And we were really delighted at how interested they were in this finding uh, and the potential that it gives us to think more widely about reaching out to those patients uh, in the hospital, a third of them on any given day in hospitals like this one behind me, who, who will die in the next year and who might have an opportunity in the hospital to explore their end of life care wishes and preferences. As researchers we were concerned that our original result wasn't just a freak or a fluke so we've repeated the study three years on uh, based on data from 2013 and we found the exact same result uh, in every hospital across Scotland like the one here behind me a third of the patients uh, inpatients in the hospital on any given day uh, we know now are in the last year of their lives so we think this is a great opportunity to do more to help those people and we'd like to engage other people in the discussions about that, how that can be done, what methods we could use and we'd love to hear from more people who want to join us in exploring this issue further.